Now immersion fin rage covers all your bases when it comes to diving from snorkeling to scuba to your free diving. With all the immersion fins you have different stiffnesses, different lengths and it even covers from an open heel style to a full heel style. The difference when it comes to this is not necessarily the open heel style is for scuba diving, it's more of a case of if you want to wear a boot with the fin or you wear, whether you wear a neoprene sock. The difference between having the open heel and the closed heel is with the closed heel your whole foot is supported in the fin. So when you're finning all of your power is transferred through the blade rather than with the heel strap fin your heel will flex in the back of the blade where the heel strap is holding it. When it comes to scuba diving this is often the most popular style of fin. They'll wear a hard sole booty or a semi hard sole booty inside the fin so they can walk around on the rocks, walk around the boat without having to worry about damaging the booty. So if it comes to this as your preference, Immersion covers that with a sort of half length freediving style blade with the heel strap foot pocket. The freediving style of that comes with the Immersion grey style with a full foot pocket. This really covers your bases as well for scuba if you prefer to have the closed heel and have more power transferred right through the fin. It's also a good option if you're just getting into freediving or you're really keen on your snorkeling and you really want to challenge yourself and cover a bit more ground. As we go to the longer blades, you get more options and stiffnesses. So we start with the Challenger Pro, which comes in the silver blade. The Challenger Pro typically is for your lighter weight people, so saying from, from your younger kids all the way up to say 60 to 70 kilos, nice and easy and soft to swim with, and also won't be too taxing on your calves and on your quads. The next stiffness up from that goes to the green blade. This is the Immersion Green here, which is very, very popular. And even for your heavier weight guys, it's still a good option if you have any problems with your knees or your ankles or any joint problems such, that, such as that. Then you go to the stiffest blade, which goes to the E Black. This is your stiffer blade and often can be considered giving you more power. Even though it is stiffer and technically you should get more power from each stroke, it is also a lot more taxing on your legs if you're a smaller person and it's going to use up more oxygen when you're finning. So typically I suggest E Black if you're going to look at someone that's sort of over 90 kilos up to sort of 120 kilos. So right through your range here from stiffnesses to length, you can sort of cover what type of diver you want to be and what sort of aspirations you have in the water. The immersion fins have been around for a long, long time and have been really, really well proven, especially with their foot pockets, which typically fit a wide range of foot, from having a long, narrow foot to a wide foot. Very soft, very comfortable and won't put the pain on the top of your foot. If you're looking at sort of entering into the freediving market with fins, the immersion fins is a really, really great option to start with. And depending on your size and weight, and whether you're scubaing, snorkeling or freediving, you have your choice of what type of blade to use.